Hello and welcome. Silray is here with Build Showcase. Build on your screen right there. Pause the video if you wish to copy the exact main components also listed in the description below. The 5D variant of Marauder. Notice at the time of making this video, I only have finished the basic pilot skills for the 5D. And also no modules were in use. So if you have the modules, if you have Elites and Master already with your Marauder 5D, this same build will obviously perform better for you. Now the 5D Marauder can do a bunch of different builds, like it has the hard points to do that, and this was basically the my take when I was looking at it and like, how would I build a Marauder 5D while leveling it, while wanting to have some fun with it, and actually try to be a little bit effective, efficient with it. And this is what I went up with. Three large pulses with two SRM4s for the very short range work, because SRM4s kind of pair nicely with large pulses. Granted, their ranges aren't the, you know, identical, but when you are doing a little bit close range work, those SRM4s add nicely to the large pulses. Because if things get to the brawling range, the large pulses themselves might not be quite enough. And here I am doing, um, well, Whatever I am doing, as in I am watching the tunnel entrance. Because everybody else went upstairs, so I figure, okay, if somebody is going to push through the tunnel in Crimson Strait, which occasionally, and most of the time from my experience is true, somebody is coming the, that way. And, well, that was a failed shot by me, but still, I get the information. Somebody is here. So let them be here, right? That's fine. I will absolutely shoot you. Uh, when and ever I get Need around to it. Acquired. Now, is there anybody else? Because I don't want to walk into the open until I am sure I am not getting shot by a 10 million dings all of a sudden then. An awesome wandering into the water. Okay, let's Need poke at that. Feel free to take shots which are outside of uh, the effective range of your Need particular build. Especially with large pulses, you can, if nothing else, you uh, get an assist once the target eventually dies, but it's still a little bit of damage. And uh, so the PPC coming in, and thankfully uh, they masked. Second one hit uh, the terrain, and there is that, then that mad dog wandering around, I don't know what it was doing, wandering first here and then wandering back, and that's just too far. With range modules could be doable, but without them, obviously not. Obviously not. Right. So, it's time to move then. It's time to move then. Because don't see anybody else coming around here. And Target then as acquired. soon as I start moving, obviously there is somebody coming around, running around, all that stuff. That's fine. I can make short work of a uh, light max. Three large pulse lasers does that. And once you get close to getting those SRM4s in as well, make short work of light max. But I'm gonna go upstairs a little bit, at least I use the corner to hide. Know that majority of your guns on this mech are on the right side, so you want to uh, try and take shots with your left side, even though the. Uh, well, SRMs are on that side, it's better to lose the short-range missiles than lose your large pulse lasers, obviously. Two of the large pulse lasers are in an arm, so they are low-mounted, because the Marauder does have kind of low-hanging arms. And I would highly suggest, if you look at my fire groups, of separating the... Well, fire group... Uh, in such a fashion that the high-mounted large pulse laser is on a fire group of its own. So that way you can, when firing, you can decide, okay, my arm doesn't peek over this hill anyway, so let's not eat the heat and shoot at the terrain, but just shoot the one large pulse laser over the terrain. Just a recommendation. Somebody is uh, behind me like that, but hey, there are things in front of me as well. Let's do a little bit of chasing. I'm kind of alone here 
if you look at the mini map so uh, this is a scary prospect of poking out of here and finding a lot of things but oh well i do have this tunnel to fall back into and i did do quite a bit of damage and a little bit of scouting for the team i know actually know where majority of the enemies are which is pain there you saw that i lost the site to torso well not side torso but it was created in such a fashion that i lost my srms and that's part of the goal i also did lose one large pulse laser so but i'm still doing the same thing now i actually finally lost that side torso i'm still ab well taking the shots into that left side torso because that's fine right it, there was nothing there anyway anymore because it was well, well damaged and so you there you have it have it have it eat all the enemy fire possible now at this point i should be using the right side but from this angle i really can't and well the atlas keeps blocking the doorway um uh, which means i can't just you know walk past him and such but um since he's now gone i am gonna go because somebody has to go that's just the, how it uh, works when you play pugs. Somebody has to go Target first destroyed. for the uh, rest of the people to stop Target being acquired. afraid of dying and actually come with you, right? Somebody has to uh, take the brunt of the damage and I am often Target more than willing acquired. to do that. I, I realize the goal that the, when you go, uh, you will easily have people follow because that's very likely, right? And here we go, here we have a Nova. And this is where I make a big mistake. I have a teammate run into my pulse laser shot and I didn't twist away from those shots fast enough. So there is that. And while the game is still going on, I don't apologize for it because I am busy making sure I kill stuff, right? And this guy overheats consistently because that's what he does. And there is the kill. And the game is pretty much done. Thank you very, very much for watching this one. Let's move on to the next one. Just an urban mech left. Target destroyed. From Crimson Strait we move over to the Baron Canyon network and a completely different game mode as well got conquest going on here as always i try to show the what to me are average results with these particular builds i play i have better results i have worse results i try and take well recorded matches which are the average and depending on your play style and so forth your average result might be better than mine might be worse than mine and obviously the whole skill thing which can't be really quantified and so on Canyon Network is an interesting map. At least this build has jump jets, so it makes navigating this particular map a little bit easier. And my positioning here is, well, my team split all over the place. So I am going to position myself in such a fashion Target that I can acquired. help out wherever I am needed. This is what I uh, like to do uh, from time to time when I get into this particular position for whatever reasons like I find myself in in such a place that well my team went everywhere okay which side does need help let's go there then and I decide to uh, fall down because I wasn't actually sure how many mechs were there because they were under ECM umbrella I didn't want to suddenly get shot by 10 million things because I have only seen like five or six max on the map itself. So actually don't know. Didn't know. And I didn't want to risk it. However, this side is 
falling rapidly. So this is where I go. This is where I go. Except I fail. As you can see, I'm like, okay. Jump jets failing me here. I didn't have enough jump jets. Okay, so wait a couple of seconds. Try again with full jump power. Get up there. All right. Up we are. And now I'm here to bag you guys up. Let them come. Because I have a large pulses and I have a large pulse which is mounted really high on this particular mech. Of course, poking around from this side means that I have to actually expose the right side of my mech instead of the left side. But I can at least try and eat the missiles on the left side of my mech, right? We are up three caps. There was just one well there getting the second one. So kind of don't have to uh, risk too much here. Just take uh, take the shots you can and so forth. And that's what I'm doing. I'm poking at things from outside the, let's say, effective range of these large pulses. That's fine. And feel free to do that. And also, don't be afraid of uh, essentially wasting SRM shots like this. Because, well, I have enough ammo in this build to be able to fire the SRMs even when you're firing two at once 25 times. Usually, from my experience, do not run out of SRM ammo in these games. So, I tend to take shots where I know that not all the missiles are going to hit the target, not all the missiles might ever even reach the target, but uh, especially if the target moves backwards and so forth. But there is the same same thing of uh, twist right when you are getting shot at, so you eat the most damage on your left side, because I will, like mentioned, I will much rather lose the SRMs than lose the large pulse lasers. This guy is coming over around here and needs all the shots, and we are losing mechs on this side, so I'm kind of happy uh, that I actually came here to reinforce this side. Launch pulse lasers do their work very, very well. So, uh, try and shoot them at uh, fast moving little things as well, which is what I'm doing here. Trying to get rid of the EZM mech. And then there is the Timberwolf to back it up. Timberwolf with long range missiles. That's okay, let's just get within range and uh, had a friendly Marauder walk into my uh, large pulse laser fire. There I actually managed to turn myself away from the team well marauder fast enough that i didn't shoot his back too much and that's something you want to get in the habit of doing like if somebody walks into your line of fire well firstly try and avoid doing that yourself try to stay away from uh, the front of a friendly who is firing because that would be a good idea for everybody but also uh try and be uh, prepared to turn away from that incoming fire. And there goes my side torso once again. I actually got over half of the ammo, uh, you know, fired away with these SRMs this time before I lost the SRMs. So there is that. Well, get something done with those short range missiles before losing the short range missile rack for, well, twisting that side of the mech into the enemy. That's just how it goes. We're still winning the game quite handily. Even though we have lost most of our big boys. Most of the Ossal Max and Dim are dead. But we are winning the game quite handily as it is. And this is Target where this destroyed. mech really shines. Thank you very, very much for watching.